Perfect. Perfect. Hey everybody, I'm back, I'm back, doing my WD Hall of Fame, who should be in there, who, who the fuck, why they in there, and all that, so give me a comment in the comment section, like, share, and subscribe to this right here, let me sip on my, this is not marijuana, okay, this is not marijuana, let's get that straight, I just like to vape. Jeff Jarrett, what the fuck he doing in the Hall of Fame? Jeff ain't never draw a damn dime. He didn't draw a dime in USWA. He didn't draw a dime in the WWE. He didn't draw no dime in WCW. He damn sure he did draw no dime in TNA when he his own promotion. He didn't draw a fucking dime. I draw more money than this bum. So I don't even know why he in the Hall of Fame. Jerry Lawyer? Yes. Jerry? Now, Jesse Vontera? Yes. Hall of Famer? Yes. Jim Ross? I'm going to try to go through this quick. Yes. Like I say, him and Golden Soli? Who the greatest announcer, ring announcer ever? Jim Ross, Golden Soli, Jim Jim Hart, the one the, one the, one of the great great one of the great manager. Yes, Johnny Raw. I heard some stuff by Johnny Raw, so I can't give y'all a definite thing. I, I heard some some things from him. Don't know who that is. Don't know who the hell that is. Don't know who the hell that is. Junkyard Dog. People, y'all just saw Junk Yard Dog when he's on the downside of his career. He was mid south. You know what I mean? He wasn't. Mm, he wasn't good in the rain, but he draw money. Let me tell you. Excuse me from my ear, cause you know, it's your, he draw money in mid south. I mean, from white fans or whether black fans, he draw money. Kevin Nash. Now you notice. Know they got Diesel. They got Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash, he's a Hall of Famer. Just because the NWO fame. Just because the NWO, Kevin Nash, when, you know, he was, he was a lower mid carder all, most of his career, early in his career. When he went to the WWF and they put the IC belt on him, they put the, the WWF belt on him, he didn't draw a damn dime. You know, he didn't draw a dime. When he had the WCW belt, he still didn't draw a fucking dime. But the NWO fame, yes. Him and, and um, I can't think of that, Ruby Razor Ramon, they the reason why wrestlers have contracts now. Guaranteed money. He He's one of the reasons. This fucking racist bitch right here, Kid Rock. Kilikawaski? Yeah. Kilikawaski? I don't know. I can't say. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't remember. I can't say the Kill Kilikawaski. Well, he, he, he trained Triple, Triple H in China. Coco B. Well should not be in the Hall of Fame, bro. I mean, come on. He was a fucking joke in the WWE. You know, he was a joke. I mean, even Jim Cornette said before he become there, when he was in uh, Memphis, he was a mid-carder at the best. You know, so he shouldn't even be in there, man. What the, this bitch ain't never draw two cent. Like like, like uh, Jeff Jett. Kurt Angle, yeah. Kurt Angle, but... Carol Angle's probably in a five-year period one of the best wrestlers in the world. So, yeah. Kurt Angle. Larry Briscoe? Yeah. Yeah. Lena? Yeah. That's the attitude area. Lord Alfred Hayes? Yeah. Yeah. They said Al Lord Alfred Hayes was a bad motherfucker. He was a bad ass, too. Yeah. Luthez? Hell, yeah. And Luthez 
former NWA champion. If Luthez did not want to lose that title, you was going to take it off him. Because he would have probably whipped your ass in the ring. Don't know who the hell that is. Mae Young, yeah. Mae Young probably the toughest female they ever been. This is, you know, she's, I saw Mae Young in her old days. But, you know, you listen to the old timers, Jim Ross and all of them. They said, this woman right here, yeah, she, uh, she was tough. She was tough, yeah. Mark Henry, yeah, longevity in the WWE, yeah. Just injure prone, keep him from really having titles. I don't know about this. Mad song, Mad Dog Vashon, that's Luna Vashon, Luna Vashon father. Yes. Mad Dog, I'm sorry, it's my phone. Yes. Mick Foley, yes. Come on. All right. El, my tag's my, my other name, yes, Nomas, Nomas. Well, no Nomas, Conan make a, a great thing about him say he wasn't going to put over nobody. <laughs> he was not going to put over nobody. <laughs> Midra Burt. I can't wait till they bring her movie out. Jim Ross and some other people got a rights for her to make her movie. I can't wait till they bring her movie out. What fabulous moolah was of dominating women's back in the day have like a number of women's under her. Major Bird did it for moolah. Major Bird was heavyweight champion over 20 years. She had women's under her. Her husband screw her her ex husband screw her. She got black ball from wrestling because she was a woman that had too much power. I mean, you read the book on Mildred Burke, it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Mula study and learn from her to be what Mula was. Mr. F- Mr. Fuzzy. No. They say Mr. Fuji. I listen to Jim Crow and then I listen to Jim Ross. Mr. Fuji didn't really draw a dime. People just know him from his manager days. Uh, he didn't draw a dime. Mr. Perfect, yes. Yes. Nick Bartwinkle, yes. Nikolai Vogel, oh, fuck no. Nah. nah, he shouldn't even be in the Hall of Fame. Pat O'Connor, yes. Pat Patterson, yes. Paul Bell, yes. Y'all yeah, just know Paul Bell back in the WWF days. He 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 been managing for a very long time. I uh, can't think his Prince Pergo, something like his name was. You know, thing. Paul Edler was a bad wrestler. He was built muscular too. Paul Edler, hell yeah. Paul Ondorf, yes. Yeah, he was champion for about three years. Yeah, Muncha Man, fuck yeah. Ravish and Rip Rue, yeah. Ray Ramon, Scott Hall, yeah. I'm not going to even say nothing about Ric Flair. Ric Flair probably the gr- second greatest heavyweight champion of all time. 16 time. Let me get this straight. WWE just recognized 16 times. This man, had, Ric Flair said he think he hit really held the world title like 25 times. 25, 28 times. Ricky Steamboat, yes. Yes. He was my favorite wrestler back in the days. The greatest good guy or greatest face ever been in wrestling. Don't know? Hell no. Rick Kishi shouldn't have been no Hall of Fame. All he did is show his big fat button. Ding, 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 ding. No. Rocky Johnson. I don't hear too many good things about Rocky Johnson. They say he was garbage in the rain. I'm, I'm sorry, Rock. I'm sorry. But you greater than your father. But I hear a lot of people say Rocky Johnson was garbage in the rain. He didn't know nothing about the business. He was bullheaded. He let promoters ran over him. Mm. Hot Rod Ronnie Piper. Fuck yeah. Probably one of the greatest heels they ever done it. Ron Simmons. Man, yes. 
I wish you to see Ron Simmons back in WCW. Yeah. WWE just screwed him. They, 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 they had him like a joke. Rufus R. Jones. I was a love Rufus R. Jones back in the day. He couldn't, you couldn't understand what the fuck he said. Oh, y'all blue. I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do to him. I'm going to beat this blood. I'm... Rufus R. Jones, yeah. Yeah. Y'all young folks don't know who this is. Art Thomas don't know. Fabulous move. I mean, um, Sensation Queen Sherry. Yes. She was one of the, probably the best female wrestlers out there during that time. So, fuck yeah. God rest in peace, Sherry. We wish you still here. Yes, Sergeant Slaughter. Yes, Sean Michaels. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Don't know who you is. Stan Hansen. Yes. Stan Stacy Act. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sting. Yes. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yes. Stu Hart. Hell yeah. You know, shit. Stu Hart was amazing wrestler back in the days. And look at his family. Look at all the people. Not only his, his, his kids he trained. All the people that come out the dungeon that he trained. Endless. I don't think no... I don't think nobody would ever train much people than he did. Sonny, hey, one time Sonny was the hardest thing female in wrestling. Then Sable come along. Y'all saw her, y'all saw her, her porno video? Ugh. Yeah. Don't know who that is. Blackjack Money, yes. I just love Blackjack Money. Bushwhacker. Let me tell you something about the Bushwhacker, Luke, and all other dudes. They was a beast on the promotions. WWE made them a... When they were the sheep hurdles. That was used to be the sheep hurdles. WWE made them like a joke. That, you know. Dudley Boys, yes. Fabulous Freebirds, yes. Arn Anson and the Four Horsemen. The, the group, hell yeah. Come on. You know the... You know, Terry Funk, yeah. No, he never draw a fucking dime. No, Grand Wizard, yes. Iron Sheik, hell yeah. Million Dollar Man. Not much of the WWE, but Mid-South, yeah. The Road Warriors, yeah. Rock and Roll Express, fuck yeah. They're one of the greatest tag team they ever been. I think the Road, I think, if I'm going to go to the greatest tag teams, the greatest tag teams ever done it, Roll, Roll Warriors number one, Rock and Roll Express number two, Midnight Express number three. Yeah. The Sheep, yeah. Yeah, Sheep, Sheep. The Valley Brothers, Jimmy Valley, yeah. I don't know about his, this, this, this dude here. Von Erich, the family, fuck yeah, come on. You know, for the, for the, for the, for the mid to late 80s. They was a dominant, you know, world class was one of the top notch rap promotions. You know, it's sorry that they, they pretty much kill their damn selves or they die off. While some more, you know, they did something in WWE. I don't know. Teddy Long, nah, come on. Teddy Long shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. You know, come on. It's Tino Santana, I don't know too much about Tino Santana, so I can't give you. Tony Atlas, yeah, yeah. Tony Atlas draw money. He was one black guy back in the days that draw money. Trish Stratus, yeah, yeah. Ultima Warrior, yeah, yeah. I give the Ultima Warrior. Vern Gagne, fuck yeah. Got, yeah, this man here started the WWF, the WWF, WWE. Whitney Ricker, one time one of the best female wrestlers in the world, you know. This is the, you remember the Montreal Strudel? But this woman here with Moolah, with the spider, is the original Strudel. So what Vincent Mann did, this 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 said was not, what he did Bret Hart was his second time he'd done this, strewing somebody. He did Winnie Rick. So, yeah. Go check out her. 
I'm, I'm, I got to pull it up for you. So I listen, to, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Sean Moody. At, at, his, his podcast is primetime. Sean Moody. We hear Winnie Rickle on there and tell that story about the screw drop. Yokozuna. God bless the dead. I don't know. He was dominant for a little while. I don't know who this guy is. So, basically, this is my picks of the Hall of Fame and who should not be in the Hall of Fame. Now, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm probably do a video of showing people who should be in the Hall of Fame. So, anything you agree on, or don't agree, put your comment in the comment section. You know, like, share the video, and then you got to subscribe. Because I will come out with some bit more videos like this here. I might come out with like, put up different promotions and talk about these wrestlers that I know. So, you know, I'm trying to do something different for you. So, let me know in the comment section. Peace.